Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I want to show you this really cute hanky um, church doll and I bought this one at a um, antique show that I always go to and I just fell in love with her and the um, story behind these dolls is they're, they're handkerchief, um, handkerchief dolls and the story behind this is that during the Civil War dolls were made from handkerchiefs for little girls. These handkerchief dolls were carried to church. They were known as the Sunday toys that children were only allowed to play with on Sundays. I just thought it was so cute. But look at the old um, hanky that this one was made out of. So I figured out how to make one and I thought you'd enjoy seeing how to make one on a video. So, at first I had a real hard time figuring it out, but once you figure it out, it's not that bad. But she even has a little um, bonnet and nice little flowing dress. Isn't that cute? So cute. So the one I made looks like this. And you can just use any kind of hanky. Uh, vintage hankies work best, I think. And um, so, I'm going to show you how to make that. Alright, the hanky that I have, and you can use, um, here's some more vintage hankies. I've got a big collection of them. And um, so anyway, the trick is to this is to actually start out with the arms first. And so to do that, you just take one corner like this, and you hold it together and like this, and you tie a knot. Like this, in that corner for the hand. And you do it kind of loose because you might want to adjust this later on. So I'm just going to leave mine like that. And then I'm going to go to the opposite corner and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to hold it like this to a point and then I'm going to wrap this around and just tie a knot with it. A loose knot. The, I think these would sell really well at um, craft fairs. Okay, so there's that one, and I, I do, do want to leave that loose. So, then I want to find my right side. My right side appears to be on this side. So, I've got these two tied like this. My right side is over here. So, I want to make a head. So, the head comes up between the two little arms. So the other thing that you need for this is some stuffing. So I'm going to take my stuffing and I'm going to put it up here like this to create a head. So it's between the arms. Looks like a little alien right now, but it'll take shape. So you form this down. You want enough here to uh, put a rubber band around. And then you might want to pull these a little tighter now. Okay, then I have a rubber band. I'm going to double this up that I'm just going to put around her head like this. Once you figure these out, I think it'd be really go really quick. Maybe I could have put some more stuffing in her head, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so then you want to kind of tug on this whole thing to get the there to make sure it looks like she's got arms there. Then you might want to tie that tighter. Just make adjustments to make it look good. Okay. So there, I'm going to bring this over here so it folds into like a dress shape. And bring this over so it comes down like a dress. Okay, I 
think these knots need to move up closer to her head. Because the one I have, the knots are really close to the head. So I think it looks better that way. But if you try to tie these knots um, after you do the head, I couldn't figure out any way to make that work. So I'm thinking that if you bring those up closer to her head, it'll be better. Her head's so tight there. Okay, I'm going to loosen that head up. All right. And I'm going to make this. I'm going to move the knots closer to her head. There, like that. So now the dress is, is folded more towards the front. See that? By moving those arms up. And then you put a ribbon here to hide her. I've got some blue ribbon here. Okay. So I'm going to tie this around the neck. And I could, you could sh work on shaping the head better than what I've done here. I know you can do a better job than me. Okay, so you're going to tie a knot here and tie a bow. And I could have used a smaller rubber band here too. And then here there's a little bow. Cute. And you might want to smooth out the face a little bit. And then I'm going to cut the ribbon right here. Okay, there's a little church doll. Isn't that cute? Oh, they're so cute. And there she joins up with mine. And then this one here, the one I bought, actually has a little lace around the head. So if you want to get a piece of lace, you can put that around the head. So those, they're all friends now. Look how cute they are together. So these are the little church dolls made out of uh, vintage handkerchiefs. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I hope you join my channel, which is Maggie Weldon on YouTube, and visit our website, which is maggiescrochet.com, and it's um, crochet, and um, we're adding more needle crafts every day. Thank you very much for watching.